The havening technique is a process usually used in trauma therapy, but it can be used for many other things as well. And this is how you do it at home. First of all, make sure you won't be interrupted. So make sure to turn off your cell phone, lock the door. If, you got, if you've got family around, ask them not to disturb, not to bother you for the next couple of minutes. And just make sure the process won't be interrupted. So this is very important. Then find a position where you can sit comfortably. You don't want to lie down, you don't want to stand up. Just sit down. If your spine can be straight, that's a plus. But just make sure you can sit comfortably for the duration of a couple of minutes. Okay. If you found yourself a nice spot where you can sit relaxed, think about the thing you'd like to change. So if it's a problem you'd like to go over, um, just think about the problem intensely for a few moments. Just consider what it is you want to change. Think about it and then let it go. Think of something else, like, for example, a very nice beach where you take a stroll along the shoreline, watching the waves, feeling the sun on your shoulders, on your head, and just relaxing yourself a bit. Okay, now it's about time to get started with the process. You will close your eyes and start tapping the so-called sore spot, which is located right here. You will tap it on both sides, so the right side as well as the left side, and it doesn't really matter how many fingers you use. I usually take two, you can take three, it doesn't matter at all, okay? So close your eyes and start tapping. And while your eyes are closed and you tap your sore spot, make sure to breathe very deeply. So breathe in deeply, and breathe out very, very slowly. Keep on tapping, eyes are closed, breathe in deeply. Breathe out deeply, eyes are still closed. Okay, do this for a couple of times, maybe four or five times. And then open your eyes, open them up very widely like this. Look up to your right. Keep this position for a couple of moments. Look up to your left. Turn your eyes around counterclockwise like this one time. And back clockwise one more time. Okay, now Close your eyes again, relax your hands for a few moments and imagine a staircase leading down 20 steps. A beautiful relaxing staircase. And in a few moments, your eyes are closed, you will come backwards from 20 to zero, imagining how you go down that staircase while you apply the so-called havening touch, which works like this. Cross your arms, put your hands out flat, put them on your shoulders and kind of slide down your upper arms like this. 20, 19, 18, relax while you do this. Eyes are closed. 17, you imagine a staircase leading down 20 steps. 16, applying the havening touch, going all the way down until you're down at zero. So like this, two, one, zero. Take another deep breath, relax while you exhale, hum a melody. It doesn't matter which melody, any melody. It can be happy birthday, like this. Open up your eyes, look up. Look up to your right, look up to your left, look up to your right and change your eye position like this rapidly for the duration of maybe 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, okay. When you've done this, close your eyes again, come backwards from five to zero, applying the havening touch again. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come another melody. <laughs> Take a deep breath, 
open up your eyes and check what differences has made in your body. Now usually after only one round of this people feel quite relieved, feel a bit lighter, feel a bit more energized and you can do this as many times in a row as you'd like. Just see whatever feels most appropriate to you, whatever feels good to your body and to your soul as well and um, just do it maybe two, three, four times. After each run checking what uh, you already can feel, what difference it's made inside of you and you know just checking your body feelings as well as your thoughts and emotions as well. So the Havening technique is an extremely powerful process and you can use it or you usually use it in trauma therapy with highly traumatized patients. But it does work in many, many other cases as well. So for example, if you'd like more self-confidence, if you have some sort of social phobia, if you've got anxieties, if you've got pain, if you've got psychosomatic issues, the Havening technique is just right for you. And the beauty of it is, it doesn't, it, it can be done alone as well. You know, it's not restricted to the therapy room. You don't need a therapist for it. You can use it anytime, anywhere, anywhere you can be undisturbed for a couple of minutes. So enjoy the handling technique. Really make it work for you. If you do it, do it properly. You know, really take your time and feel the difference it makes for you. I hope you have a lot of fun using and applying the handling technique on yourself.